Super stocks were really hot in 63. Wait till you see this one. Vintage racers are always cool, especially if they have a cool story and unusual features. And this 1963 Ford Galaxy Lightweight in the Brothers Collection is a factory-built racer that has all of the above. The National Hot Rod Association created a class called Superstock in which drag racing cars had to remain true to the form of their consumer level products, which helped show not only how fast these cars could go if they were properly prepared, but also kept the cars recognizable. And that was important when consumers walked into new car dealers because people always want to own a winner. Ford kept this in mind, but they also wanted to keep up with the Pontiacs, Chryslers, and Chevrolets on the strip so they worked to develop the cars and a team with exceptional drivers like Phil Bonner. Bonner raced the 1961 Ford Starliner to a successful season, and it was one of only 10 racers and teams to be selected by Ford to campaign special factory-built 62 Galaxy lightweight race cars. As the engines became more powerful, the next step was to reduce the weight in the car to keep them competitive. This is the 1963 evolution of that program. We normally don't think of these big galaxies as being lightweights, but this car is different. Check out the fiberglass hood, fiberglass fenders, it's got a lightweight aluminum bumper, the doors are glass, the deck lid's glass, rear bumper's aluminum. The glass isn't glass, it's all plexiglass except for the windshield. The uh, interior has been gutted, and all these weight saving measures combine to help this car run low 12 second quarter miles. Yeah, these cars were special all right. Overall, the modifications reduced the weight of these cars by over 400 pounds, but it wasn't enough to stay ahead of the competition. Pontiac had the powerful 421 V8, the 426 was screaming under the hoods of Chrysler products, and Chevrolet was burning up the track with the new 409. So Ford upped the displacement of their hottest V8 from 406 to 427 cubic inches and created a legend. The rules of Superstock dictated that your race car engine had to be the same as what you could buy at your local Ford dealer for your street car. In this case, we've got a hopped up 427, uh, but you might notice the two big snorkels feeding cold air in from where the high beam headlights would normally be. But the 427 was far more than a stock engine with fresh air tubes. Everything about these engines was specifically selected for maximum power. Dual 600 CFM Holly four barrel carburetors were mounted atop an aluminum mid-rise intake manifold to feed the appetite of the advertised 324 degree duration, half inch lift, solid lifter camshaft, high flow cylinder heads, and 12 to one compression ratio. The bottom ends were forged steel and the 63 engines were of the top oiler variety before the improved side oiler design in 65. Top oilers fed the valve train first, sometimes starving the crankshaft below. Ford claimed 425 horsepower and 480 pound-feet of torque to help keep the horsepower to weight ratio in sync with the NHRA rulebook, but most agree these churned out well over 500 horsepower. A heavy-duty clutch bolts the 427 to the aluminum housing Borg Warner T10 four-speed transmission, and the leaf spring rear suspension holds a Ford 9-inch axle stuffed with 411 gears. 15-inch drag slicks grab the track as the big Ford twists and squats on launch. And the result? Well, low to mid 12-second quarter mile times, pushing 120 miles an hour. Most of the 63 lightweight galaxies were painted white with a red interior, but Bonner's was just as much show as it was go. Inside, the car looked like a galaxy, but without all of the luxury, sound deadener, heat, 
or accessories and light aluminum Ford van seats in place of stylish buckets or a bench. Bonner did well in 63, but times were changing quickly in drag racing. For 64, he campaigned a smaller 427 Thunderbolt Fairlane and then built the famous Daddy Warbucks 427 single overhead cam Mustang and altered wheelbase Fairlane in 65 and raced funny cars until his ride on the factory Ford team ended and he was out of drag racing by 1969. We've shown other factory lightweight race cars on previous episodes of Muscle Car of the Week, and the feedback's always been pretty positive, because everybody likes old race cars. What do you think about this one? Share your thoughts with us on our Facebook page or YouTube channel, and we'll see you next time with another cool car from the Brothers Collection.